Welcome back, Jets and Jealous. Today we're going on an adventure with another Disney movie. Put on your little walking shoes because we're taking this dog for a walk. That's right, today we're talking about everything you missed in Disney's movie, Bolt. Promise. I promise. But be careful, there could be danger in this adventure. I eat danger for breakfast. Well then, are you hungry? Starving. It'll be huge, man. Huge. You can't touch us. <laughs> The road will be tough. Like that? Bolt is one of the most loyal animals you could possibly find in this world, which is common for dogs. But did you know that he's wearing an Easter egg around his neck the entire movie? Am I missing something? You're missing everything. On the dog tag, he has an address for in case he gets lost. And guess what the address is to? It's actually the physical location where the movie Bolt was actually made. That's right, 2100 Riverside Drive, Hollywood, California is the home of Disney Animation Studios. <laughs> also, Bolt's name at one point was originally going to be Megadog. Also, in Russia, they had to change his name from Bolt to Bolt because in Russia, a Bolt can be considered a bad word. So does that mean we should be beeping every time we say Bolt? <laughs> Maybe instead of Bolt, they could have just named the dog Brain. Remember Brain from Inspector Gadget? Also, the pet shop that Bolt's from, Silver Lake Animal Rescue, Silver Lake is the same name of a neighborhood just 15 minutes away from Disney Animation Studios. Sweet Sister Francis. Also, in the 1930s, Walt Disney had his first giant studio built in that very neighborhood. Not a coincidence. Another thing from Disney Studios that we get to see in this movie is the famous water tower. You want reality? Here you go, Chief. Fun little fact, they bought that water tower with the money they made from the release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Want to know a secret? Promise not to tell. And it also holds 150,000 gallons of water. We also know that the water tower in Bolt is the same water tower from the Disney Studios. Why? Because Ray Disney himself designed the six-legged tower because he thought it would be more attractive than the traditional one-leg or four-leg tower design. Ironically though, the tower was designed primarily for the events of a fire. Fire! 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 And it's actually no longer a functioning water tower. That's right, there's no water in it. So this fire scene here might be pretty accurate if there was actually a fire. Oh, <laughs> pretty high, man. <laughs> Just kidding. They still have sprinkler systems in all their buildings, and Disney even has their own fire department on the property. <laughs> That's being proactive. So this would also explain why the firefighters arrive so fast if this is secretly supposed to be the location of the Disney Studios camouflage as the Bolt set. At long last, we've arrived. At the belly of the beast. Another Easter egg on the bridge scene that we get to see is in the traffic. Watch here. No, here. Oh, here. Yeah, right there. That's actually an Easter egg to a movie about a bus, obviously. That couldn't go under 50 miles an hour. Otherwise, uh, well, let's just say something really bad would happen. If you've already seen the movie, you might remember the bus number to that movie was 2525. If you listen closely to Rhino when they arrive at the city where Disneyland is located, there it is! You can hear him drop a little hint to this fact. The most terrifying place on earth. That's almost the exact opposite of what everyone usually says about Disney. Usually people say it's the happiest place on earth. Of course, when you're on Space Mountain waiting in line for three hours for the ride, you might actually agree with him. Hey, Joey. Do, did we go too far on this? You kidding? This is the best day in my life. When Rhino's flipping through the channels, we hear a few hidden secrets. One of the shows he was listening to is The Price is Right. Come on down! Come on down! You're the next contestant on The Price is Right! Then it was Gilligan's Island. Another one was a TV game show called Press Your Luck, where the light would spin around the board and you hit the buzzer hoping to not hit a whammy, otherwise you lose all the money you just raised in the game. So people would scream, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Please, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, Come on, no whammies, come on. Also, you hear Mr. T from the A-Team, a classic TV show. Hey man, this time I'm gonna do it my way. What you doing, sucker? 
And lastly, probably the coolest one of this group is we get to hear the famous Wilhelm scream. If you're new to the channel, you may not know what the Wilhelm scream is. If so, go watch my video about singing because I explain the Wilhelm scream in that video. Ooh. Beat it, stupid cat! Oh, mama, I have got to get me one of these. Well, hello, puppy. I get it, some of you are gonna be cat fans and that's totally fine. Someone has to be. I'm personally more of a dog fan, but a lot of times the villain has a cat. Coincidence? I think not. It's stupid cat! Dr. Calico has his own evil cat, and even his name Calico is a type of cat. He also has a lot of similarities to another cat-loving bad guy that we know, and that is Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. But it goes a lot deeper than that. Follow me into the rabbit hole. And curiosity often leads to trouble! It's possible that this fake show, Bolt, is actually a spin-off to the old TV show, Inspector Gadget. I'm not that crazy though, watch this. In Bolt, Penny owns a dog named Bolt. And in Inspector Gadget, his niece also owns a dog, and guess what her name is? Penny. Well, it's obvious what's going on here. That's not enough for you? Well then how about this? She also rides around in a scooter. Go, go Gadget, scooter. And she has tons of random gadgets just like Penny does in Whoa. Bolt. Brain, come in, Brain. In Bolt, we all know that the villain is Dr. Calico. However, he isn't the main bad guy of the show. He's actually just the hired hand for the main bad guy. This is the main bad guy. There he is. And he's the guy giving all the orders. Any luck getting our guest to spill his guts? All we ever saw was his hand and his evil cat, of course, and we never saw his face. Obviously not including the five pixel video game or the cheap cash out action figure they made. But in bold, it looks like the bad guy has his normal hand, so it couldn't possibly be Dr. Claw, right? Wrong. Remember the live action Inspector Gadget? In the movie, we learned that technology has improved quite dramatically, so Dr. Claw could have a normal human looking hand by now. Hi, hi. Oh, very clever, Kramer. And if you think that Penny from Bolt doesn't exactly look like Penny from Inspector Gadget, remember they already showed that they know how to do face surgery to change her looks, so perhaps they already did that before a few times. At least Calico won't be able to recognize me. Have you ever seen the cartoon Inspector Gadget? And no, the live action movie Inspector Gadget doesn't count. We're talking about the cartoon. Vote. It's a fair question. Let's do this, let's put a pin in it. Boop, pin in, there you go. Now, let's let that hang there a bit and then we'll address that when we thought things through, okay? Good enough for everybody? Smiles all around, let's get out of here. The lady at the security gate, if you listen closely, she's looking for Joey Mateo. Joseph Mateo is one of the Disney artists that helped bring the movie Bolt to life. If you look at the background of the movie Bolt, it's not high definition like the movie The Good Dinosaur. In fact, they went the exact opposite direction with quality. And they focus more on the story itself. In fact, the background you are looking at is just a bunch of paintings with a little bit of computer magic to make it look like it's 3D instead of a flat surface. Part of the reason that they went this way is because usually it takes four years to make one of these movies, like Toy Story or something. But for both, they only had 18 months. That's kind of like when your teacher gives you six weeks to do an assignment, and then you wait till the night before to complete the project, but somehow you still manage to pull off an A or an a B. Good job. That never worked for me. That is totally unrealistic. Absolutely redonkulous. You could say that again. <laughs> That's a keeper. If you enjoyed today's adventure, click that like button and try to find these hidden Easter eggs in today's video. Leave a comment where they are. Don't forget to include hashtag Disney Bolt in your comments so that way you get entered in for a chance to win a free shirt. As your friend, I say yes. If you only remember one thing in today's video, remember this. Share a smile, they are contagious. Hey, share a smile, they're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. 
And don't forget to subscribe.